Good morning, East Tampa. Good morning. Good morning, East Tampa. Good morning. It is a great morning. It's a great morning. Thank you all for coming out to our open house, uh, our ribbon cutting for Beacon Homes. Beacon Homes is the most affordable new home ownership community in the city of Tampa. And we're really excited about that. Beacon Homes, quickly, because I know it's hot out here, is a three bedroom, two bath, one car garage home, 1,450 square feet of conditioned living space and a total square footage of 1,822 square feet. It has a home office and pretty soon you'll, you'll be able to tour it. Um, before we really dive into the program, I'd like to invite up uh, Senior Pastor Dwight Newkirk with the prayer uh, for this event. Pastor Newkirk. May we just bow our heads for a moment. Father, it's to you we do come this morning, thanking you for your blessing. And we are asking your blessing upon this environment, Lord God. Thank you for our community, Lord God, and the great work that CDC has done, Lord God. Thank you for our mayor being here to support us. And to you, we give you all the praise. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Uh, at, this, at this moment, I just would like to recognize uh, that we have uh, in our midst a representative from Representative Sean Shaw's office, Dwayne Mallory. Dwayne, where are you? Say hi. Oh, Kathy Castor's office. My apology. My apology. <clears throat> Still doing good work representing our community. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we'd now like to bring up Eva, uh, Evangeline Best. She is a CDC of Tampa board member. She is also an instrumental person uh, in the East Tampa community. She is the chair of the East Tampa Community Revitalization Partnership. She has a few words for us. Good morning, East Tampa. Good morning. I, I wanted to do this, and I was glad when I was asked, because I am a native of East Tampa, and I just want you to know that we love our community, and that's why we are seeing and we turn out when we see these good things that are happening here in our community. As a board member, I'm the vice chair, but I want to just, the, all the other board members that might be present, would you raise your hand for me? Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I tell you, they're one of the hardest working groups uh, that we have. And it's just been a joy working with CDC. I have another role that they didn't mention to you that I play with East Tamp, with uh, CDC. And that is a resident, and I'm saying this because there are residents present. I want you to know we have a separate component just for residents. And we want you to, if you see me before I leave here today, I'll call the office and we can get you together. Because one thing CDC does is that it really listens to what the community is saying. I can tell you, I've been with it for 25 years, and I will stand and tell you, they do hear us, okay? Lastly, my other heart is that I'm the chairman of the East Tampa Community Revitalization Partnership. That's a lot of words. But it's all about economic development, and it's a, co a coalition of all, all kinds of services from, let's say, the schools, the, the government, everybody come together, and we work together. It, this community is a seven-point mile radius with more than 20 neighborhoods association. We're very proud to be a, a part of all of this, and I just want you to say, I see some residents in the back. Would you raise your hand so that the community can know we're here? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Best. I don't think I have to uh, state this too strongly, but development takes partnerships. The CDC of Tampa is a great partner, and we can't do these type of projects without other partners. One of the greatest partners that we've had since we've started is the city of Tampa. This project could not have been possible without the city of Tampa infusing $650,000 into this project. 13 homes that we're developing, the city of Tampa is contributing $650,000 towards this project. That is one of the items that is in their consolidated plan to provide affordable housing, not only for renters, as well as uh, homeowners. 
again, we couldn't do it without the city of Tampa. And to give us a little more light on that is the Honorable Mayor Bob Buckhorn. Mayor? Is it preaching time? I may shed a little light, but I'm not going to shed any more heat, I can promise you. You know, this is a, uh, this is a great day, Ernest, and to the CDC and to all the partners that are here. Um, this is exciting. But most importantly for the residents of East Tampa, this is a proud community of folks who work hard every day, who do the right thing, who raise their kids to be great citizens, to, to see this community come back to life and to see the work of law enforcement who has been keeping this place safe for years and to see the decline in the crime rate and to see the hope and to see the seeds of prosperity being planted and to know that what this community looks like now is only just the beginning of what it will look like over the next 10 years. And to know that there have been amazing partners like Pastor Dwight Newkirk and his, his late father, Bishop Eddie Newkirk, who was a dear friend of mine who pioneered that church down on the corner down there for how many years, Dwight? Close to 50. 50 years. Wow. 50 years. Amen. Eddie Newkirk never quit on East Tampa. And neither did any of you. This is a good day. This is the beginning of something special. We're going to see more and more of this over the next couple years. The city is proud to partner with all of you, but it is always to the benefit of the amazing people that live here who get up every day to try and do the right thing. This is a great day for East Tampa. Congratulations, Ernest, and the CDC, and to especially the folks that live here. Thanks. Thank you. Again, this project is not possible without partners. Our financial partner in this project is Neighborhood Lending Partners of Florida. Um, and with NLP is their CFO, Carlos Rivas. Uh, Re Carlos, would you please come up and give us a few words? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. You know, as CFO, I kind of sit in the, in the back, see all the numbers and have to make sure that everything is done according to, uh, you know, certain rules and regulations. So it's always nice when you get to come out here and see what you're what the dollars are doing and the impact i remember when God, it's not that long ago when uh, all of this was just dirt and rock and just to see these houses uh it's just it's awesome it's great um nlp is is proud to be partnering with cdc to be able to do this um, i was thinking about today how with so much bad news these days and all the destruction and stuff that we've seen the last couple of weeks to see something going up instead of coming down it's refreshing to be able to do that and to be able to be a part of that is even more refreshing um, than what we've been seeing here lately so i just want to say congrats uh, we hope that uh, we can continue to do work with uh, with cdc and other organizations that keep promoting affordable housing because that's what NLP likes to do and uh, thank you for coming out we appreciate it and uh, congrats our next partner in this project is the Tampa Housing Authority I'd like to call up David Ilonia who is the director of real estate development for Tampa Housing Authority All right. good morning everyone um, I, I want to thank uh, everyone who played a uh, tremendous impact uh, for this uh, project to materialize. And I have penned uh, really uh, something that uh, I want to read out, I don't want to lose it. And it's critical that we continue this type of project. So I am deeply uh, delighted to be, uh, for the opportunity to be in your midst today and to express how Trail Tampa Housing Authority is to be a co developer with CDC of Tampa. Uh, of 13 single family homes. This project, located in East Tampa, neighborhood, represents an extension of THS mission and mandate. I am confident that most, if not all, of you remember what the location of the development used to look like. Uh, it caught a dismal portrait, 
and was devoid of the kind of vitality, energy, and presence that are the hallmarks of uh, wholesome potential and growth. In fact, the landscape once symbolized a sense of forlorn abandonment with little or no sign that the area's rich promise could be redeemed. THA is, is uh, proud that uh, our collaboration with CDC has yielded a result of which we should all be proud. What once seemed like a story of hopelessness had become a narrative of positive transformation. We should all be exhilarated to say to ourselves, as well as the residents of the area, now look what our shared vision has wrought. What once appeared bleak has become a place that many are pleased to call home, a development that blends seamlessly uh, with its broader surrounding environment. Uh, the site of this development that we celebrate today is rich with history. From 1922 to 1995, it housed Jackson Height Elementary School, playground, and hydroponic garden. The current state of the development is, in powerful sense, a tribute to magnificence and power of that history. We all know that homeownership is an important index of quality of life. Every effort and investment we make in order to provide a home to a will-be homeowner is worthwhile. Each day, uh, we empower a potential homeowner to find and move into a home is a remarkable day. Indeed, a good day to remember. Uh, without the expansion of opportunities for homeownership, for people in this community, many residents will lose a sense of their rootedness in the, uh, in the community, their, uh, their relationship with neighbors, and connectedness to other nearby neighbors. The vision for this development is to engender a robust sense of uh, community access to quality, of, uh, quality facilities and elevated uh, quality of life. It is worthy of commendation that the first three homes in the development are completed and sold with construction proceeding on another set of our, our four homes. The first seven homeownership opportunities will be set aside for families on the arrangement not to exceed 80% uh, area medium income. All the units are designed as three bedrooms and two baths, selling at 165. The city of Tampa, fueled by the drive and energy of Mayor Bob Barkhorn, has been phenomenal in the support for this project. The mayor is determined to give up uh, to give up until he's, he's not determined to give up until he's, fu he's fully achieved his vision of making Tampa one of the greatest cities of all residents, a community of livable places, connected people, and collaborative progress that embraces and showcases its marvelous river and beautific waterfront. It is in keeping with the spirit of the mayor's vision that we have approached East Tampa development. We are committed to endowing the development with an admirable image, but we seek more than sheer beauty. We also want to achieve the solitary goal of boosting more homeownership and sustaining the dynamism of the neighborhood. Uh, in order to meet our laudable objectives, indeed to do more, we obviously need sustain and more funds. That explains our resolve to continue our partnership with CDC in the future in order to advance the goals of building attractive developments and a widening prospect of those who wish to own homes. The social and economic reasons to sustain and indeed expand financial commitments to, project, to projects such as this, one, are self-evident. I have drawn attention already to the fact that homeownership is an indicator of social progress. It ought to be pointed out that the economic impact of the various projects that the uh, Tampa Housing Authority has undertaken over time is estimated over, uh, roughly a billion dollars. This kind of economic simulation should be fertilized. There is no question that projects such as this makes eminent sense as the enable the housing authority to remain a vital player in the city's socioeconomic development. If anybody entertained doubts about the synergy created by the kind of partnership between THA and CDC, I believe the impressive transformation achieved at the East Tampa development should dispel that doubt. Nonetheless, we have more work to do. Please stay tuned, and I thank you for listening to me. Thank you, David. Why do we do these kind of projects? Why does the city fund these kind of projects? Why does THA, CDC partner up to do these kind of projects? It's for the people we serve. It's because everyone deserves access to safe, affordable, decent housing. Do you all agree? Yeah, yeah. Of all the guests I've presented so far, I'm most proud to present the next uh, person. His name is Hercules Washington, and he is our most recent homeowner in this development. 
Hercules, come on up and tell us your story and why this means so much to you. Hi, everyone. At first, I told him I didn't think I can do this. I'm very timid. And, you know, after losing everything that we on through a divorce, I didn't think it was possible that me and my kids would ever be able to live in a home that we can call our own. I have two daughters, an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old. And, you know, I started taking all the necessary precautions and classes that I needed to get closer toward our ownership of a home, of, of a place of our own. And thanks to the CDC, the city of Tampa, the Tampa housing authorities and all the different groups like that, not only do we have a home, but we have a home that no one has, has lived in before us. You know, so we're appreciative and we're very grateful for all the opportunities that has been given to us so that we can move forward and try and do things that help me and my kids to a better life. And I'm grateful for all the things that has happened for us. And I want to thank everyone for all the opportunities that you've given us. And we appreciate it all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's give Hercules another round of applause. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not every day that we encounter a single father that's taking care of his children. We always hear about single mothers, but I take my hat off to Hercules being a single father raising two beautiful daughters. Congratulations, Hercules. And with our closing remarks, I'd like to uh, bring up our fearless leader, our CEO and president, Mr. Ernest Coney. Amen. Yes. Yes. Good morning, all. Uh, we're just really excited to be here to really celebrate not only the brick and mortars of what we're doing, but also the Hercules, the residents who actually will be living in these homes. I'd like to first and, first and foremost um, thank several people. Of course, the mayor and the city of Tampa has been great partners throughout the history of the CDC of Tampa. Tampa Housing Authority, our financial partners, neighborhood lending partner, and hundreds of others, especially East Tampa Partnership here in East Tampa itself, um, has really embraced this project to make sure that every time we build a home, it already has a contract on it. And we couldn't do this work without the great staff that we have. Frank, for all the work that he's been doing to really build up this real estate division to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to achieve their, their, their great dream. And then we also have other staff behind him as well that's making this happen. And then of course we have our board, the greatest working board, the hardest working board I have ever seen. And I think we also have Chris Patterson somewhere in the audience as well. She will be our, our, in, our incoming board chair. So get a chance to um, introduce yourself to Chris Patterson if you have a moment as well. Our great mayor oftentimes talks about Tampa turning the page, right? And we're growing into this great city. And by him backing projects like this, not only are we turning the page, we're also beginning to write a new history and a new chapter of possibilities. When I talked to Frank about what should we name this, Frank was like, we should call it Beacon Homes. Beacon Homes. It's a light, just like a light tower, telling ships where to go. We're bringing residents right back here to East Tampa, because East Tampa is now a choice destination. East Tampa is now a choice neighborhood. Amen. It also is a light because it prepares the way for folks. There's a lot of people like Hercules who thought that they could never achieve the American dream, and now they can. There's also people who've been told they can't. Jamie was a disabled veteran who was told his disability check would not afford him the American dream. Jamie was able to purchase a home just like this. So the CDC of Tampa and all of its partners are able to be a light to help people afford homes. And then I also talked to Frank about two things. I said, Frank, what assets should we have? We should have a front porch and we should have a garage. Not all houses have a front porch or a garage. Some have one or the other. The front porch is where neighbors get to know each other. The front porch is where that grandmother can tell a young kid, baby, why are you outside right now? Baby, don't do that. On the front porch is where we get the instructions that we need. On the front porch is where you get that caring reminder that you have a neighbor. I missed you last week. I see you're out of town and we miss you. It's also the place where you get instruction. I saw somebody around your house. I saw this going on. I saw that going on. We're not only building houses, we're building front porches for neighbors. And then we also added a garage. The significance of a garage is that it makes the house yours. 
It's your sanctity. It's the place where you can park your car and don't have to worry about anything. It's a place where if your child is playing the drums, you can send them to the garage and they can practice all day long. <laughs> but also in the garage is where innovation also takes place. Google, Apple, were all innovations that took place within the garage. So our kids right here in East Tampa would also have the opportunity for innovation and greatness. So again, to all of our partners and the mayor, we say thank you. So after this point, I think we're going to open it up and have an open house as well. So we invite everyone in. Thank you again for your time. Three, here we go.